Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm doing a fishing video, and this is how to get the Underlight Emerald, an item which grants you two more appearances for your artifact fishing pole, the Underlight Angler. So, in patch 7.3, Blizzard added some new fishing NPCs across the Broken Isles. The first one is here, in High Mountain, just next to Thunder Totem. You'll find a cool Riverhorn in his boat. And these NPCs, you can buy the baits off of them, so if you don't want to fish up the baits, you can buy the fish relative to that zone, and some new pets, and some new toys, and even a cooking recipe on one of them. But all of these NPCs work very similar to how Conjurer Margos did in Dalaran, on the floating island where you have to fish up Drowned Mana, but instead of Drowned Mana, each NPC has its own currency. When you're in the right place, so if you're standing basically where I am in the videos, you'll get a buff saying you can catch something lucky here. And like before, you can fish up a bait that will sort of summon an NPC, you kill the NPC, and that will create the drop rate of said currency to be a lot higher. Next one here is Corbin, he is in storm- well I say he, it's a bird, it's, it's a bloody raven. So for some reason you're now fishing for a raven in Stormheim looking for to buy some to never mind. Anyway, so you want to head down to the water, again they sell the baits, they sell some toys, in this case it's two toys, and some storm rays being the relevant fish to Stormheim. Same as before, you can summon an NPC, they all seem to be like purple ghosts, and then sparkly things will appear out of the water and you can fish in them. The only differences between this and Conjurer Margos is the drop rates have been increased by a lot, so you're good. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not going to take as long. Next one is in Suramar. You want to head to here on the map just outside of the city. Here's the NPC. Now Suramar, this one works different to the others. Now there's only one thing to purchase from here. The other one gives you Ancient Manor. I wouldn't worry about it. But this time, you're fishing from one specific pool. This pool is actually moving around. So you have to keep up with it. You can't just stand still. You've got to keep moving. But there is a better way to do this. You can, again, you can fish up lore, summon an NPC, and you might guess that it turns the whole of it to be fishable, like the whole set of water. Not the case. Actually, you just loot the fish directly on him. So best advice like all of them really, do them in a raid group and you know everyone can get the bait, summon them in and you can just get those fish really quickly. So in my opinion easily the quickest. Next one here is Impus, this is on the Broken Shore and you, well it's the same as the rest really. You can get some toy, oh he actually gives you a shirt appearance. So apart from that, give you a sh gives you a shirt appearance, he covers the uh, like the Broken Isles sea fishing stuff like i know that there was some fishing in open water which didn't actually apply to any specific zone so i think he kind of fills the void there summon an infernal kill the infernal and then that creates the water to become sparkly and then you can fish from it you know etc etc and then the same with azuna same with val Shirar. now you'll notice the pattern that i'm doing them in this is actually almost like a clockwise pattern the order that I'm doing them in, in this video, is actually the order that they will spawn in. So, say you come on today, you watch this video, one of them could be up in Val Shirar, that means the next day it will be High Mountain, then Stormheim, then Suramar, then the Broken Shore, and then Azuna. And just in that order all the time, I believe Wowhead even have recently said that they put a tracker on it. So you can check their website and it will tell you what one is up for that day. But it means you can predict the next one and the next one. So you'll never not know who's up. So if you have like gaps and you need one specific one, you know who to target and you know what day they will be spawning on because they always go in the same route. So the one in the video before was Azuna and this one is the last one for me at least, Val Shirar. And the NPC you just saw there does a nasty knockback. It is not the most fun NPC to have to deal with when you're fishing because even when you can fish in like the sparkles here, some people always, you always get the one person that throws the, the item into the water and summons another one that no one wants to kill and it just gets everyone in combat and knocks everyone back, it's horrible. But once you've fished up enough items and you've handed them in, you want to get best friend with all of them, all six NPCs, and that will award you the achievement Fisher Friend of the Isles. Once you've done that, you want to check a mailbox, and you should have been mailed the Underlight Emerald, and this is the artifact item that will grant you the extra appearances. So all you have to do is head back to Dalaran, head to the orb that you can change the appearances on, and there you go, you get two new ones. 
one's more blue, one's more green. So if you're into fishing, say and you know you're a warlock or a demon hunter and you really care about your artifact fishing pole, I didn't actually ever expect them to add more appearances, but I guess it's a nice little cosmetic and something that isn't really important, but it's a nice little change and something just a little bit extra to get on top of the achievement, so that's nice. But that's all for this video. If it helped, be sure to subscribe for some more Warcraft videos and guides. Thank you very much for watching.